So ultimately after this Prajadhuni Yatra, we all decided, and the Bharat Jodhi Yatra, we all decided that we have to help the people of this state and send a message to the country. Ultimately, Priyanka, we invited Priyanka Gandhi to come to Bangalore and one Nanayaki, that means a woman, you are the leader. Whoever is she? She is a leader by herself, in the house or anywhere. We have to stand in there. So one program after Guru Jyoti, lighting the lamp, Guru Lakshmi was being formed. So we decided to help the farmer, uh, to help the woman, because her gas price from 4, 440 rupees to 1,100 rupees, it has raised a lot of essential commodities she could not bear, lot of things, lot of uh, prices were being on the high and there is no more on the bottom. So somehow we wanted to help them. So Priyanka Gandhi said, DK, for me and Sidramaya, in this election time, parties make promises. BJP government also gave a lot of promises. They said that they are going to double the income of the farmers. They, do, they said that they will double the income. They said that they will bring the black money and distribute to the common man through Jandan account. They said that they will give employment, but they did not give employment. But now we can't do that. Whatever we have to promise, we have to deliver. Then I asked them, what do you have to do? Now you and Sidramaya should sign this guarantee. She said that you both have to sign this guarantee. You should sign a check. So myself, Sidramaya, we signed a check before her. We gave a guarantee card. We distributed to the every houses of the state. And ultimately, the cards was been actually almost 80-90% cards went to every houses individually, took their numbers, took their signatures, and I think uh, already this uh, we were being successful in convincing the people of Karnataka. After that, five kilos of rice was been given. You know, Srimadhi Sonia Gandhi and Manmohan Singh came out with the Food Security Act. Then we had, we were given suppose seven kilos. BJP government, Yadurapa, reduced to five kilos. And ultimately, we decided we will give them ten kilos. Now after that, the woman, she has to bear a transport expenditure. Average, we had a big survey. She used to save about, she used to spend about some 2,000 rupees every month. Who goes to the job, who goes to the relatives and all. So we decided all the women of the state, all the women of the state should be allowed to travel free in the case, in the public transport buses. And that was the fourth guarantee. And the unemployment was the very biggest thing. Ultimately, Rahul Gandhi came to Madaga. He said that we will give 3,000 rupees for all the youths, 1,500 rupees for diploma holders. So all these five guarantees were being announced. And all the five guarantees, whatever be announced, we came out with the 130-36 majority which I had assured the people that our number will be this. And I think we gave the gave me the number. The first day of the cabinet, the Congress party implemented, we passed a cabinet resolution. We gave one month time to the officers to see that the implementation has been done. And now nine months has passed, now almost a year. Last seven, eight months, the last guarantee was for the UNID. From the first day, the Shakti guarantee of women traveling to the free bus in Karnataka has started. And we have implemented all the guarantee. We have 
population nearly 6.7 crores in Karnataka. But our budget is 3,70,000 crores. In that salary goes, loan goes, we get about 1,40,000 crores of uh, money for various. But now for the development and this guarantee, we have kept about 52,000 crores and all the development activities are going on. Why I am taking this is that in the last year, now people are looking at, BJP is looking at on emotion issues. I would like to ask the Modi government and his party members are the chief minister of the state. Last 10 years you are in power in the national level. Have you brought any one single amendment which can help a common man, which can fill his stomach, which employment has been sorted out, which any problem of a common fan, uh, man saving on this inflation or any other issue, unemployment is being sorted out, whether any law has been brought it out. When UPA government was there, we came out with this Food Security Act. On the same Food Security Act, we are distributing this rice. And in Karnataka, we wanted to give 5 rice, uh, five, 10 kilos. Central government did not permit us to buy. We are transferring the direct public uh, distribution system. We are giving that uh, the 34 rupees per kilo. That means 5 kilos, 170 rupees. For every house, we are giving 400, 500 rupees, 600 rupees as per the population of that state. Now almost 1 lakh, 1 crore, 20 lakh women are getting this 2,000 rupees Guru Lakshmi. Guru Lakshmi. About 1, 1 crore, 50 lakh people are getting this uh, Guru Jyoti until 200 unit of power. What I would like to tell you is that whatever we had promised from Karnataka, because Karnataka was the leading state where India was been formed. After Karnataka came to power, Telangana came to power. We have also promised six guarantees there. They are in the process of implementing and some guarantees have already been implemented. In Karnataka, all guarantees have been implemented. In the party, we have decided whatever the promises we are making to the people of this country, whatever the manifesto we have given, whatever the guarantees we have given, Mr. Malikajan Karge being the ACC president and Rahul Gandhi ji, Rahul Gandhi ji has signed, both of them have signed in the guarantee card and they have issued the promises to the people of this country. Congress is to his country's strength. Whenever Congress party com comes to power, all sections of the party, all sections of the society will be in power. That is why we would like to see that whatever we speak, we deliver. We have come from a land of Lord Baswana. Whatever we speak, we deliver. That is the biggest strength of the Congress party. And I would like to tell you, when UPA was there, we promised, we promised food security act and it has been delivered today. We promised for unemployment Narega, Mahatma Gandhi ji, rural employment scheme that has been implemented. We promised forest rights for the farmers who have been plowing the land for the farmers, for the shield cast, tribes and others. Now even that is also been implemented. We promise right to education, that has also been implemented. We promise right to information, that has also been implemented for the better governance of this country. So I am giving only a few examples. Huh? You play, I am asking you any one scheme in the last 10 years which they have announced anything which affects the people, which help the people, which help the common man, which help the prices, 
which is help the unemployment. Any one program, if the BJP had given to this country, I think we didn't have an opportunity to come and ask you votes. They have completely failed. That is why I have been coming before you to tell that whatever the guarantees we have given, the Congress party has given a guarantee, five major guarantee, we have called this Mahalakshmi Yojana for women. We believe the woman, she is the Shri Shakti. She, we, we, in Canada we tell Hennu Kuttum Adha Kennu. That means she is the eyes and ears of the family. So, for her, Mahila Naya has been given. We have promised one lakh rupees to the lady who is the head of the family. That is what we have given. There is no mediator here. Directly it goes to her account and she is very happy. We have seen that lot of women are taking Mangala Sutra. We have seen lot of women are taking fridges. We have taken lot of jewelry. Lot of gear, looking at education. So lot of help is been done. Our Honorable Prime Minister speaking on Mangala Sutra. I am very sorry. I never expected that he would speak on Mangala Sutra issue. You should know that when he came to power in the 2014, the gold price was 26,000, 27,000. Today the gold price is 70,000, 70 to 75,000. Even on Mangala Sutra, I don't know who has snatched at Mangala Sutra. It is very ridiculous uh, statement the Honorable Prime Minister has given. Anyway, he has spoken, they had, they had promised that they used to double the income. I would like to ask where the income became double. They said they promised that they, they, is go, they, they are going to we have the loans of the farmers. We have waived the loans of the farmers when our coalition government was there. We have loaned the farmers of when Manmohan Singh was there. But they could not do. They said that they are going to see that the farmer income will be doubled. I could see, I just spoke to a number of farmers in the state yesterday. I stopped various people, discussed, I have sent a team of here, more than 200 people from my state who are just meeting the individuals inside and asking their grievances. So we thought that something has been done. I could see no development has been done, no one has looked at. And even in Narega, we have assured that we are going to give 400 rupees. And even in Narmar, Narega also, we, should, we are looking at. So these are the few schemes for the employment. You see that in your, in your employment, for 6,000 uh, uh, 6, uh, 6, 60,000 posts, more than 6 lakhs, 60, lakhs. 60 lakhs people have been applied. I think it shows that this is a very great uh, unemployment problem. You know, for the southern, for Bangalore and other parts of uh, the country, your boys are coming there, looking at jobs. We are providing them the quality jobs. But it is a good soil, it is a good state. It has been not managed well. Only emotional, communal issues have been taken place. But it is not the place. We look at only development. We have a constitution. And uh, Honorable MP and former Minister also, Mr. Arant Kumar Egre, he said that you give us 400 seats, we will change the constitution. But I do not understand. Modi has given a big uh, uh, advertisement that he will, at any cost, he will not change the constitution. I welcome it. But why has he not expelled that uh, parliament member or whoever the party function is there, who announced that they are going to change the constitution? What Baba Sahib Ambedkar has given, what the Indian Congress government has given the constitution, is our constitutional right which we have got. We want to see that it has been implemented. One thing I would like to tell you, as for Karnataka is concerned, and when Mr. YSR was there, the Chief Minister of Congress government was there in the uh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, we both came out with a law that they, according to the population. Now in this guarantee there is an issue of census. Census means knowing 
talking about which caste, how many people are there. We want equal distribution of power and equal distribution of money to all the beneficiaries. So we wanted it to go gradually. In Karnataka, we have announced that we are going to give, give them whatever the right as per the population. That is how we have brought a law after baby, before making the census itself. Now we have already conducted the census. We have invested about 200 crores for Karnataka. If there are any, again any lacunas, we are going to rectify them also. But I would like to ask uh, Mr. Uh, the Chief Minister and the Honorable Prime Minister, why are you worried about it? They should get their rights. Every community should have to get their own rights. In Karnataka, the scheduled cash, only the central government budget was only 75 crores. In Karnataka, they used to give, spend about some 78,000 crores. Now it is 47 to 48,000 crores, which we are bound to spend on the development of all this scheduled cash and scheduled tribe and protect the constitution. That is our basic demand, a right to see that the scheduled cash, the scheduled tribe will be protected. And we have given an strict instruction to the officers. At no point of time, you can't sell those lands. You should see that they will be protected in all matters. So this is what I would like to... Uh, and this meantime, I'll ask you a question. You know, Mr. Kedri also spoke on uh, your uh, state. I think uh, our one of the partners, he also spoke that uh, why the state has not been developed. Like Gujarat. Uh, like Gujarat or looking at Gujarat, it speaks of Gujarat model. I don't know what has happened. But as far as the UP is concerned, I checked with various people. There is no strength coming out from Delhi. And he feels that your chief minister is a big threat to him in the national politics. He has finished all the uh, competitors. He feels that if uh, Mr. Moore, our, uh, your chief minister is there, he feels that he is also a big threat to him. At the same time, I would like to tell you that even at the time of Akhilesh Yadav, the development work which has been done is enormous. I could see, I could speak to all of you, very many bureaucrats. I spoke to a lot of common men. I spoke to businessmen. I spoke to many workers of the political party. They all agree that Akhilesh Yadav had done and contributed well to the growth of this uh, Uttar Pradesh. And in future, he will have a say in the government. He will be a part of the national government and he will be a part, he will lead the state in the future. So the people are waiting for the opportunity. You know that the ballot is stronger than the bullet. In this ballot, you will see that you will have a very vibrant result. I am very confident, 100% confident. There will be India block government at any point of time. There will be a no government under the leadership of Modi. And India, NDA will not come to power. You could see in all the states, you can go in number, you can personally visit the entire country and look at, don't look at media reports. You look at, you speak to all the states, you will know personally what are the numbers. I am very confident the Congress party will come to power under Indian leadership. We believe in collective leadership. I think all us, let us all join together. In India, was been formed in Bangalore. After Karnataka came to power, India has been formed. Then after India, Telangana government came to power in this, from the southern states. I think we are almost sweeping the southern states. And in northern, I think they are not going to reach the magic number. They will reach around 200 seats. That is what the information I have got. So I appeal all of you to join together. Let us think together. Let us work together. 
for the change of this country, for the betterment of this country, for the progress of this country, for the unity of this country, and for the peace of this country. We all have to work with peace and harmony, and constitution is our Bhagavad Gita, constitution is our Bible, constitution is our Quran. Let us all join together, including my media friends, to make, make India proud, India win, and let India grow. I would like to ask a few questions, minimum 10 questions, one by one. I would like to tell you, yesterday, one one, yesterday, Mr. Kargeji has promised it is a political strategy which we wanted to announce here. We have announced 10 kgs of rice, how we have done in Karnataka, will also be implemented here. 10 lakh rupees for Mahalakshmi also will be implemented in all India. 1 lakh, 1 lakh rupees per year and 1 lakh rupees, 1 lakh rupees for the youths per year with appreciative training and 25 lakhs of rupees as insurance, health insurance. There will be zero bill including all the 20, 25 lakhs health insurance. That is our guarantee. That is our government. That is our pledge to the people of this country if India by India comes to power. of this country, they all gave a letter to uh, Abdul Kalamji, who was a minority uh, as a president, my president. Then Sonia Gandhi decided that but in the better of the country, an Akrami should be the prime minister of the country. So she being a minority woman, married to a Hindu family, asked her uh, invitation by uh, President of India, then she gave to a sick man, a minority, an economist to save this country. That is why we believe in the collective leadership. We are fighting on the collective leadership. We will in the election, then we will all join together. We will discuss together. 
will like all your support, we will form the government and we will have a no, no. We did not leave Ravana with that in. We have we have set the SID. The law is taking its own course. What has happened? It is shame on this country. It is the family of a, it is the partners of the BJP and the NDA. I don't know why Prime Minister is very shy to take action. Action or they still they are the partners of that. At no point of time we have not left. Passport, passport. The passport is there. The visa is there. The central government, the central government authority. We have issued blue card on notice. We will get it. The law will take its own course. Here, 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 I will take 100 questions. What? No, 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 no. 100 questions I will take, he is on the queue. No, he is on the queue. Is ki baad, is ki baad, is ki baad. Prime Minister attacking on the Muslim quota is business. Already the quota was there since last 30 40 years. It is business. Due to the political angle, he is trying to polarize. He should know the constitution. He has taken a vote. It is our bound duty to see that every section of the society will be protected. And we are going to do that. We are committed to it. See, there are leaders. We have a number of leaders. We want to share our views on a different issue. We, we have already joined together. We have formed alliance. We have shared the seat. See, I have come here. I don't need anyone. Okay, Gargaji has come. He's a national leader. He's the ACC president. Mr. Akhilesh is also a national leader. So they joined. And AAP and Akhilesh, they are the leaders. They are the national project. Why are you differentiating us? Why are you dividing us? You should also be keep, keep India united. It is all work. Due to time, he is there. Poor man, he came just now. He is roaming around the country. He is also doing his best. And we all are united. Yeah.